Hey BFFs, how are you guys doing? Well, in today's video, we are going to do our last check-in of May and we're gonna balance our budget for the month of May. So, um, you guys are gonna get a two-for-one special today. So, let's get into this video. Okay guys, like I said, in today's video, we're going to do our final check-in for May and we are going to close out our budget because y'all yeah, June 1st is like right here I'm filming this on Thursday afternoon well Thursday yeah Thursday afternoon at 6 p.m. y'all will see this on Friday so um I gotta get that June budget going. <laughs> it's it's time. So our last bills to clear have cleared. That was car insurance and internet. Y'all, I had the spam protection from Verizon. I'm still getting phone calls, spam phone calls. Um, I can't tell y'all how many times um, my car insurance has been canceled. Uh, my student loan payments are due. Um, some uh, I don't have student loans. My car insurance is not canceled. Like uh, my my boss called and um, I need to return this call to my boss, y'all. Uh, like what what are people doing like what are people doing like y'all y'all need to do something this is ridiculous but on our expenses this this week we spent a hundred and forty eight dollars in groceries so we did that on Wednesday nope Tuesday And then hubby had to get fuel again. $59 for gas. And y'all, we splurged. We ate out. Well, we didn't. We got pizza. Um, $27. We haven't had takeout in a minute. And I wasn't feeling good. Hubby was like, I'm tired, so we just ordered pizza. So we spent $27 on pizza. Ugh, I haven't, we haven't ate out in a minute. We haven't spent our, our takeout budget in a while, but I had to, I just didn't feel like it. All right, so we gotta do our budget versus our actual. So, gas, groceries, dine out, miscellaneous. So, you know what? I I don't know if we're going to be able to see this or not. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit. I don't know if it's going to show up right here or not. But this is the... Uh-oh. Is my pen not gonna write can y'all see that i don't think we're gonna be able to do it there so let's go over to our expense tracker we'll we'll do it there y'all can see i don't have i don't have a lot of stuff going on so let's just write budget And it's not writing. Maybe I need to replace the ink. Let's 
get another one. Okay, budget for groceries, gas, takeout, and miscellaneous. Groceries is $700. How much did I budget for gas this, this time? That's groceries. Gas. We did 200 instead of 300. Takeout got, I think, 150. Yes, 150. And miscellaneous got a hundred. So the total on that, y'all, I'm sorry, it's crooked. I have to write, I have to write crooked. So 700, 200, 150, and a hundred. That is 1150. So 1150 is the total. And then our actual. Groceries, gas, takeout, and miscellaneous. Okay. So, for our groceries, we spent uh, $384. $384. For gas, we spent twenty seventy and fifty Ooh. nine. <laughs> we spent one forty nine. Takeout, we only ate out once, so one fifty minus twenty seven. So that's one, two, three, one twenty-three, and we didn't use any of our miscellaneous, so that was zero. All right, boy, this don't want to write on. Maybe it's this page. This pen don't want to write on here either. All right, so the actual of our miscellaneous was three eighty-four plus 149 plus 123 is 656 and we're going to take 656 from the 1150 and that is 400 494 is what we should have now if we have 494 dollars from our leftover envelopes than our budget balances. And y'all, I didn't pre-plan any of this, so I don't know if it's gonna work out or not. So we'll just clear out what we have from our grocery, gas, dine out, and miscellaneous. And that's why I always fill my trackers in, guys. It's super, super important. So you can just kind of flip over and see. So I'm going to back you guys out a little. Since y'all can see the desk here. And we've got hundreds, twenties, ones, twenties, hundreds. Oh, y'all, I don't think we're right. This already don't look right. What did I, I must have done something wrong. I totally must have done something wrong. Okay, it says 4.94, but I think we got one, two, three, four, five. We already got five. If it's five ninety-four, I've got to figure out what what we've done wrong. 
Maybe I put $300 in gas instead of two. We'll see. Let's see if it's 94. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. Ooh. What did I do? Yeah. Okay. 700 plus 200 plus 150 plus 100 equals 1150. 1150. Minus. 656, 494, something is not right. 384 plus 149. Oh, y'all, this is not right. This is supposed to be 27. <laughs> uh, $27, not one, two, three. What was I thinking? Y'all, see, I told you, I didn't plan it out. So y'all see, I was about to, I was about to make a mess. All right, let's try this again. 384 plus 149 plus 27 equals 560. 560 minus 1150. $590. Okay, now that we got our numbers right, let's see if this, oh, Let's see if this is 590. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 90. 89. What? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 20, 40, 60, 70, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. 590 dollars. Well guys, yes, it would balance out if Gigi would put the right number down and do the right amount. Y'all. Y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all. I am discombobulated. I have a lot going on on my mind. I, um, I have two major doctor, doctor appointments coming up on June 10th and I am fearful that I will be hospitalized that at one of those appointments because it's the pulmonary and the cardiologist appointment. I see one in the morning, the cardiologist in the afternoon, and I think the cardiologist may admit me and I'm worried about it. So if you guys would say, say a prayer for me, if you believe in prayers, if not, just send some positive energy, my direction. Um, I accept all kinds of well wishes, you guys know. But I just like I said, I've got a lot going on with that. And you know, when you have health issues, sometimes thinking about your budget takes a takes a hit. But I've still got to keep our 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 my mind on my money and my money on my mind. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. So, our budget is right. We did balance it out. $590 left over. Um, Y'all know that I'm going to be splitting this $590. Half is going into savings. Half is going to debt payoff. Um, the IRS situation, if y'all haven't seen that, go watch that video. The IRS situation has thrown me for a loop and um, Aaron from uh, Sassy Beauty Budgets. Um, Y'all will frequently see her in the comments. Go subscribe to her channel if you would um, and show her some support. Uh, she commented that she thinks, you know, the amount is should be five thousand now instead of the one thousand emergency fund, according you know to Dave Ramsey, and I am so much in agreement with her on that um, because 
that thousand is just not what it used to be. So we have got that balanced out. And those of you guys logging off here, please leave me a heart emoji in the comments below. The rest of us are gonna answer our prompt-to card question. Like I said, remember guys, half going to emergency fund, the other half gonna go to debt payoff. So let's see what question we got today. Mm, which is more valuable, talent or dedication? Guys, I'm going to say dedication. I'm going to say dedication. Because, you know, talent is awesome. Don't get me wrong. Talent is great. But for those of us who don't have a talent in something specific that we want to do, like me with YouTube. I'm not a tech girl. I'm, I, I love doing it. I'm dedicated to it. I'm dedicated to you guys. And I'm determined to get a thousand subscribers. And I don't, I'm learning how to edit and I'm learning how to do thumbnails and I'm learning the processes So I think dedication, because I'm dedicated. I am dedicated. So which is more valuable, talent or dedication? Y'all put your answer in the comments below. I love reading y'all's comments. I love it, love it, love it. Um, I was sitting in the doctor's office um, reading comments and, and hearting them. Um, but um, guys, if you would, hit the thumbs up, um, like this video, share this video with someone you think may enjoy it, hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. I try to upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Y'all, hit that subscribe button. 50% of my viewers are not subscribed. Y'all, hit that button. Come on over here and join us. I think we have like 739. We're we're reaching for our 800 goal. Um, of course, the ultimate goal for me is a thousand, and then however far um, that takes us. Because one, this cash stuffing method really works. Um, I'm coming up on my year. Uh, anniversary in July of doing this and it has made a tremendous difference in my life and I want everybody to see how just making a budget can improve your life I was always anti-budget I thought budget meant restriction no guys budget means freedom I have more financial freedom now than I ever have in my entire life. And the difference was we started budgeting and we started cash stuffing. You can, you can do it without cash stuffing, but budgeting is so important. And I want everyone to see that. So hit that subscribe button and come on over and be fabulous BFFs. We can be great budgeting and financial friends. And um, I thank you guys so much. Please send me your prayers. Um, I will update you after the appointments or if anything happens during the appointments. Um, I will let you guys know. But I thank you so much. I love you guys. Until next time, friends.